Yo, what is going on guys? Vosife here bringing you a brand new Red Dead Redemption 2 video. In this one, I'm going to be showing you all how to manually spawn cougars quickly so that way you guys can get your Master Hunter challenges completed. I've had a few comments throughout my hunting video saying, Vosife, can you put out a video in which you talk about the easiest way to find cougars in Red Dead 2? And you guys also pointed out to me that I did not hunt the panther in my hunting series, which for the longest time I did not know about. And funny enough, juggling all the games that I'm playing currently, I'm still working on that. So now before we get started, we're going to run through a checklist of two items that I want to make sure you guys have on you. And if you don't have them, you're going to do exactly what I'm doing. Set up a camp and we're going to make them now. So make sure you have healing buffs and dead eye buffs. When you're going against these cougars, you want to make sure that you're prepared and having dead eye is going to make that that much easier. And now being that we have to kill these cougars with a bow and arrow, we're going to craft some poison arrows and we're going to have fun with this. So if you have those things, you're going to follow me to this location here on my map. I'm going to zoom in and show you guys this. If you look to the left of my marker, you can see that there's a cougar symbol there. There is a static spawn for a cougar encounter here. Now you can manipulate this and basically farm the same cougar every five to 10 minutes, depending on how lucky you are based off the respawn rate on this thing so here is the area in which it spawns in and it more or less ambushes you and tries to get you off your horse it was distracted here i hit it with the poison arrow and this is why i like the poison arrows because it redirects the cougar's aggro and then it knocks it into a stun state in which you can just creep over and shoot it in its head so the cool thing about the poison arrow is after you use it, even if you make one, if you use that one poison arrow on the cougar, you can actually pick it back up and reuse it again. In fact, I used the same poison arrow for every single kill when I was going through this challenge, making this extremely convenient to have if you're looking for that sure safe way to make sure that you get all these kills without dying and wasting more time but this road is going to be your best friend and if you look up here i went to check to see if the cougar's body was still there after zoning out and it is you want to stay on this road and get ambushed by the cougar every time you spawn it but this body cannot be here so we need to despawn this body and respawn a new one so you're going to keep following this main road that you got ambushed on south and you're more or less going to go to my exact location and what we're doing right now is we're zoning out of the area and we're going to set up a camp and i'm going to show you guys a really cool way to spawn this cougar back in and remove its current body because like i said you're farming the same cougar over and over so as long as its body is on the map you are not going to be able to spawn a new one in so again we're going to speed this up you're going to follow my character here and once you hit the curve you're going to come up in this grassy area so once you hit that left bend you're going to look for the grassy area here it's wide open and you're going to set up a camp and this is my location on the map so you're not looking at the marker you're you're looking at the white arrow that's where we are currently if there was any confusion following me down road that is where you're gonna end up and set up shop now what we're gonna do is once again we're gonna speed this up and this is amazing because like I said I kid you not every five to ten minutes we're gonna get one to spawn in now you can probably do this for any regular animal in the game if you find a nest and a static spawn what we're gonna do is we're gonna sleep and we're going to sleep as much as we can. Now, if you haven't slept in a while, you might be able to sleep three times in a row, but you're going to sleep the maximum 18 hours. So for me, I was able to repeat this twice and then I got the message, you are unable to sleep. Now, when you run into that, I'm going to show you what to do later on because we're going to need to work around this to keep spawning cougars in. So if you're getting that message, just bear with me. But I want to show you guys what happens when we sleep and we run over to check to see if the body's still there. So we're following that road back up now and we're more or less going north. And you can be ambushed over here too, so you definitely wanna keep an eye out. Uh, you'll run into snakes and things like that and your horse will definitely get startled. You might even see some bears, but nothing is gonna bother you except that cougar. That cougar's gonna try and knock you off your horse and it will always confront you, which you want, and that's exactly why you want Deadeye. So you can stop time because if this thing gets its hands on you, I mean, it's pretty much a done deal. So you're gonna 
always make sure that your bow is out and as you can see I have the one poison arrow and he got his claws on me but somehow I managed to live through it and what I'm gonna do is here I'm gonna dead eye shoot it in the head now if it's close enough it'll one shot it but in most scenarios it's going to drift off like I said the poison's gonna redirect its aggro and we're more or less gonna follow it like it is not gonna bother you after this so now we're going to take out a normal arrow, make sure you bought some before doing this and we're pretty much going to get in front of it and put it out of its misery. And then after you kill it with the bow, which is part one of the challenge, you need to make sure that you're skinning each one. Now after we skin this thing, we're going to go back to our base, our temporary camp for spawning these cougars as quick as possible. We're going to save our game and I'm going to show you guys how to get past the cannot sleep anymore prompt. So from where we killed the cougar, we're going to head back down this way. And the reason why I want to show you this is so you guys aren't getting confused and you have a general feel of what I'm talking about when I say the cougar encounter area and then riding back to camp because you want to get used to this, you're going to end up doing this a few times. So like I said, once you pretty much meet and end and you go uphill and to the left that first left bend you're gonna come up on this wide open area and then you're gonna reset up shop now we just killed a cougar not too far after being denied sleep so chances are well what happens if I set up a camp now am I gonna be able to sleep just because I ran out did something and I'm coming back no you're gonna have to save your game and then reload it once you reload your game, you're going to be able to sleep two more times. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the longest sleeping option that you have available. Sometimes that's 16 hours, sometimes that's 18 hours. I noticed if you can only get two sleeps in, more than likely it's going to say 16 hours in total. Now after you slept twice, what's going to happen is that cougar's body is either going to despawn or still be there. And that'll be indicated by the last location that you killed it at. So what you're going to need to do then is, after you slept twice, you're going to take this road back up to the ambush area. And you're going to look, for example, for me, last clip, I killed it in the tree. So I'm going to be looking to my left here, and lo and behold, that despawn, and I'm being attacked by another cougar because that body isn't there. So upon getting ambushed, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm immediately going to bring up my weapon wheel because you have no time. And I'm going to use my poison arrow. I'm going to daze, confuse it, and follow it. Then I'll get in front of it and shoot it with a normal arrow. After you kill it, make sure you retrieve both arrows. And then you're going to proceed to skin it to complete part two of that challenge. Just remember when you get back to camp, don't do anything until you save your game because you don't want to lose any progression on previous kills. So now in this clip, this is another cougar that I killed. I was going back to see if I had respawned a new one. And as you can see, there is a body there. So I did a bit of running around. It didn't show up. I went back to camp and I went ahead and slept. And now I'm going to run this entire thing through. So I get up and I pretty much rush back and I say to myself, all right, so that body was to the left. Let me come up the hill. There is nothing there. So being that there's nothing there, I need to more or less pace myself in this area until something shows up and I see a red dot it's just a snake I'm saying to myself all right let me move up a little bit I pass the first fork in the road and then there's another one a little further ahead you don't want to go any further than that so once you reach this fork in the road you pretty much want to make a u-turn because you're not going to get ambushed all the way up here I set my marker way far ahead that is a fox not a cougar I totally thought that was a cougar for a second when I was running uphill initially but we're gonna make the U-turn back. Again, I've never seen anything that far. Like this is the main ambush area. And this is what you run into sometimes. After a bit of pacing, you come up in this main confrontation point and there he is again. So he's gonna knock me off my horse and I'm immediately gonna make sure I got the poison arrow on. I got the dead eye on. Make sure your dead eye meter is always charged. And we're gonna follow this thing. We are going to take it out. And I believe this was the last one for me. So I pretty much skinned this guy and I finally, I, I, I killed him off camera. I just want you guys to know that, but lo and behold, success. We did it and I'm super grateful I was able to pick up on this. 
I didn't spend much time looking for this animal because I have all the experience from doing the Legendary Animal series and I just know that that method really does help when you have trouble finding an animal or trying to get it to respawn back into a zone. So if you guys enjoyed this one and if you know anyone who is having trouble, share the love on this video and thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Bosife. Later.